Learning new skills is essential to success in any field or endeavor, and the opportunity to learn is at the foundation of the process. The opportunity must present itself or be created by the individual. Educators and mentors can guide and help others to see opportunities for learning as illustrated in this conversation between Dr. Louis Agassi and a boarding house worker who was determined that she had never had an opportunity to learn. In response to her complaint, he replied, Do you say, madam, you never had a chance? What do you do? I am single, and I help my sister run a boarding house. What do you do, he asked. I skin potatoes and chop onions. He said, Madam, where do you sit during these interesting but homely duties? On the bottom step of the kitchen stairs. Where do your feet rest? On the glazed brick. What is glazed brick? I do not know, sir. He said, how long have you been sitting there? She said, 15 years. Madam, here is my personal card, said Dr. Gossi. Would you kindly write me a letter concerning the nature of glazed brick? She took him seriously. She went home and explored the dictionary and discovered that a brick was a piece of baked clay. That definition seemed too simple to send to Dr. Gossi, so after the dishes were washed, she went to the library. And an encyclopedia read that a glazed brick is a hydrous aluminum silicate. She didn't even know what that meant, but she was curious and went to find out. She took the word vitrified and read all she could about it. Then she visited museums. She moved out of the basement of her life into a new world. And after having started, she took the world hydrus and studied geology and went back in her studies to the time when God created the world and laid the clay beds. One afternoon, she went to a brickyard where she found the history of more than 120 kinds of bricks and tiles and why there were so many. Then she sat down and wrote 36 pages on the subject of glazed brick and tile. Back came the letter from Dr. Gossi. Dear Madam, this is the best article I have seen on the subject. If you will kindly change three words marked with asterisks, I will have it published and pay you for it. A short time later, there came a letter that brought $250, and penciled on the bottom of this letter was the query, what was under the bricks? She had learned the value of time and answered with a single word, ants. He wrote back and said, tell me about the ants. She began studying ants. She found that there were between 1,800 and 2,500 different kinds. There were ants so tiny you could put three head to head on a pen and have standing room left over for other ants. Ants that were an inch long and marched in solid armies half a mile wide, driving everything ahead of them. Ants that were blind, ants that get wings on the afternoon of the day that they die, and ants that build anthills so tiny that you can cover one with a thimble. Peasant ants that keep cows milk and then deliver fresh milk to the apartment house of aristocrat ants of a neighborhood. After wide reading and much microscopic work and deep study, the spinster sat down and wrote Dr. Agassi 360 pages on the subject. He published the book and sent her the money. She went to visit all the lands of her dreams on the proceeds of this work. As educators, mentors, and guides, providing a vision of the opportunities for learners may be all an individual needs. The key is to help them find what is before them and the ways in which they learn. Simply take a moment and ponder the following questions and record them in your learning journal. Where can you find learning opportunities? When was the last time you had a question about something? Maybe you were driving around or you were just looking out a window or maybe you watched somebody do something. Did you look for the answer to that question? Do you have any kind of interests? What about opportunities at work for self-improvement or professional development? Have you asked for the opportunity to attend a conference or to go on a class? Most companies do provide these opportunities and have funds aside for them. What courses or topics would interest you and where could you find them? Have you taken an online course lately? Have you created a reading list of nonfiction books? Wander through your local bookstore and see what you find. Remember, there are opportunities for learning everywhere. Just look at and see where you sit. Where do your feet rest?